Hello everyone. Today we will talk about thermodynamic equilibrium. And first, let's see an example to explain how equilibrium work. Okay, I have two containers which are separated by a partition. And uh, the partition at first is fixed, that means it's not movable. And the left container is filled with gas A, and the right container is filled with gas B, and uh, the properties of state of gas A are also given, for example, at the initial state TA equals 200 Kelvin and PA equals 1 bar, and the TB equals 300 Kelvin and PB equals 2 bar. So now the partition is removed and both gas are allowed to mix with each other. So this is the first equilibrium. And I want to ask you why both gas will mix with each other and why is it unrealistic that gas A still stays in the left container and gas B in the right container. And the reason is that after we remove the partition, we get a new system here. This is our new system, the closed system. And within this new closed system, it exists concentration gradient. Concentration gradient. So because of this gradient, gas A is forced here, forced to flow into the right container, and the same to gas B, forced to flow into the left container. And we call this phenomenon diffusion. And this comes to an end if the system becomes a homogeneous system. That means no concentration difference. And we see here the system reaches a dynamic equilibrium. Dynamic equilibrium. Okay, this is our first equilibrium. And we notice that the initial temperature of gas A, 200 Kelvin, and, and of gas B here, 300 Kelvin, are different. And therefore, after partition is removed, the temperature of gas A and gas B will change during mixing until the temperature Ta equals Tb equals the temperature of mixture at the final state. Right? And after then, temperature will not change anymore. So, the system reaches, in this case, thermal equilibrium. OK. And after discussing about the dynamic equilibrium and the thermal equilibrium, we can now analyze the third one. And we see that the initial, at the initial states, pressure of gas A and gas B are also different. And we know that light concentration and temperature, after both gas completely mix with each other, mm, the pressure of gas A and the pressure of gas B will reach their own corresponding pressure at the, in, at the final state. and then do not change anymore. So the system here reaches then mechanical equilibrium. Mechanical equilibrium. Okay, but pay attention here, a little different from concentration and temperature. And at the final state, the PA is not equal to PB and they have their own values because the pressure here is called a par 
British partial pressure, sorry, partial pressure. And the sum of both partial pressures equal to the pressure of mixture. Mixture. And if you cannot understand it, uh, don't be nervous. We will talk about this concept later in topic gas mixture. So now, let's do some summaries. So the first is thermal equilibrium. And the system is said to reach thermal equilibrium when the following points are satisfied. The first is the temperature is the same at all points of entire system. The temperature is the same at all points of entire system. And the second is that the temperature does not change with time. does not change with time. So, if both mm, points are satisfied, we say that the system reaches then the thermal equilibrium. And the second is mechanical equilibrium. And mechanical equilibrium concerns pressure P and the system reaches then mechanical equilibrium if first the pressure is the same throughout the entire system the same entire system and the second is that the pressure inside the system does not change with time Side system does not change with time. And the third is that there exists no pressure difference between the surroundings and the system we choose. So no pressure difference between surrounding surrounding and system otherwise there are unbalanced force applied on the boundary and this unbalanced force unbalanced force give, gives rise to change the form of system that means work will be done and the third is mm, chemical equilibrium. And if within a system chemical reaction occurs, then we must also take chemical equilibrium into consideration. And the system is in chemical equilibrium if no chemical reaction takes place anymore. So in other words, chemical com composition is the same throughout the entire system and does not depend on time and that means does not change with time mm, just uh, like the thermal equilibrium and mechanical equilibrium so chemical composition is the same throughout entire system and does not change with time. Okay. The fourth is phase equilibrium. And if a system involves two phases, then phase equilibrium is also to be considered and I will give you more information about this phase e equilibrium later in other topic 
because it is a little difficult and I will spend more time on this topic. Okay, so after defining the equilibrium, we can conclude that the system reaches equilibrium if all the properties properties of state first are the same throughout the whole system. That means are the same at all points of the system. And the second is do not change do not change with time. And generally speaking, a system is in equilibrium when within the system no driving force driving force such as temperature difference, concentration difference or other differences of properties exist. So at the end of this video I want to emphasize again that only under thermodynamic equilibrium conditions we can use properties of state to describe the whole system.